this is a positive or negative development and what are the reasons for this? So I'll let you read it to me, that read it nice and slow, focus on pronunciation while you read, and then if there are any edits, we can go from there. Okay. Okay, great. Um, in recent years, it has become clear that secondary and university students are gravitating away from conventional sciences and towards IT-related courses. In this paper, um, which I should have used in this essay, um, I will discuss the causes behind this change and explain why I believe it is a bad trend overall. Okay, let's help. start with first, first paragraph we're going to analyze. Fantastic use of vocabulary. Really, really nice summary for that introduction part of what we're going to be looking at. The only thing I'm going to suggest we remove, because you are writing the essay, so we don't even have to put in this paper or in this essay. We can simply say the causes behind this change will be discussed and explained, or we could say um, I will discuss the causes. So we can take out in the paper, not needed. Mm, okay, okay. Okay, because we already know. You've got the paper, you've handed it in, and this is what you're writing about. So let's go. We're looking at number two, second paragraph. Given how widespread computer technology is throughout society, the urge to... Um, the Sorry. The search and popularity of IT and related computer-based courses is predictable. Our lives have become so reliant on electronics and their internet that it has become one of the most important industries on the planet. Fantastic. And once again, your use of the vocabulary where we're looking at words like reliant, popularity, throughout society, these are nice, strong words, and you're basing us on exactly what it is like in today's society, completely. Without technology, oh, we would be lost. We wouldn't be able to have this class. We wouldn't be able to potentially do coursework online. So that uh, paragraph is a really, really good one. Let's go to the next paragraph, number three. Um, furthermore, the media is rife with examples of digital startups that have turned their founders and investors into millionaires and billionaires. Um, so it's easy to understand why young people might be drawn to the sector as a study. It appears to be a safer choice than pursuing a career in science, which normally involves a larger time commitment and at first look, Offers less in terms of pay and social status. Very, very nice comparison. So you added to why students are focusing more on, especially from, you know, the social aspect of it, where we are looking at the Elon Musk, for example, the millionaires, the billionaires club of the world. And in relation globally, the tech industry is exactly that, the highest, one of the highest paying industries. Our tech guys or girls are getting way more than doctors or lawyers. So that's a nice point you brought up there. The other thing that you've also brought in is the contrast between why they are not looking at the, you know, actual science part of it. Because another aspect we could even look at, it's, it's the time. If you look at these long, say, let's choose medicine, for example, right? If you want to become a doctor, it's nothing under seven years. So mm. you could do a tech degree, potentially, or loads of tech courses, get loads of in-house or, you know, hands-on experience. And you could build your own brand. You could be integrated into a company globally, remote, working is definitely possible with IT. And it would be far simpler than going to university for seven years. 
studying to be a doctor and then hoping to find a vacancy within, you know, a hospital or whatever it is of your choice. So that's a very, very nice comparison you've given. All right, okay. let's look now at paragraph number four. Okay. However, both academia and society as a whole rely on a steady supply of brilliant scientists who are always pushing the limits of what is possible. These are the folks who create our medications. Folks is probably not my best word choice, but we could create say, um, yeah, I think folks hundred percent agree. We could definitely swap that out with a change of vocabulary. Yeah. So let's think. These nice are the them. people who create our medications, design our automobiles, um, enhance our manufacturing processes invent new materials and so on and their job is critical to preserving and increasing our quality of life as a result a decrease in the number of students studying sciences means a decrease in the number of bright individuals undertaking such important job okay so what do you think could be a nice synonym for folks instead of people as well Something else we could maybe put in there. They, these are the ones. We could say these are the creators of our medication, designers of automobiles. So we're mm, looking yeah. at putting these positions and we're going to describe them as an actual person. They are the designers, they are the scientists, or the pharmacists, or, you know, the lab technicians, whatever it's going to be. But we're making a more of a focus on what their position is and how their role is contributing. So I'm very happy with how you've worded the sentences as well. Do you feel that the second sentence, where we look at from these are the folks, do you think that sentence is a little bit too long? I think so, yeah. I didn't notice when I um, wrote it, but like mm -hmm. reading back at it, definitely. Yeah, so I definitely think you've given some really nice examples of the people involved. And instead of, we don't need and so on. You, you could just maybe, you could leave it at invent materials, invent new materials. We could start a new sentence. Their job is critical to preserving and increasing our quality of life. So just by shortening that sentence, taking a few little words out, we can find a much nicer flow to the paragraph. And remember, ILIT examiners, even English teachers in general, the rule of thumb is never make your sentences too long-winded. We don't want to see too many commas. We want to see your point of view. We want to see either the fact or theory or whatever it is you're describing. But we don't want to see a sentence that's going on for three or four lines just being separated with comments. Bring them into a point on their own through an individual sentence. Okay. But this okay. is good, Chris. Nice use of vocabulary. Really, really nice explanation. So, last and final, our conclusion, our wrap up. Finally, considering the importance of the computing sector in today's society, the shift toward computer-based disciplines and vocations is reasonable. However, if this comes at the price of recruiting fresh scientists and engineers, it might be disastrous. The world today will be a very different place if scientific innovation did not exist. Very good. And I also think you could almost somehow even link the two industries into each other with that conclusion, if you wanted to. So your, your conclusion is perfect. I'm really happy with it. But let's think about it. In today's modern world, science relies on technology so heavily. If you think, I'm going to use, let's go back to pharmacy, right? Pharmaceuticals. Those massive pharmaceutical giants 
that manufacture all these wonderful drugs and cures that we need for med medication. They need the science, but they also need the IT nowadays to facilitate their project studies, their manufacturing of those products. So we can almost see how that IT is benefiting the, the science industry on a whole as well. So they can play off each other if you wanted to, just jazz it up in that conclusion. But I think this was brilliant. What was your opinion on your piece? Um, I think as, I think like I could have come up with better arguments. I think your arguments were really good though, because you have been very, very clear. You haven't been, you know, gone into excessive amounts of detail. You've been short and concise, which is what we need. But your point of view is it's black and white. There's no gray, which is what we want you to see. So I think you need to be proud of these efforts because this was a good argument. You have given a very clear explanation as to why the IT sector has evolved and is constantly going to be increasing. But then you've also mentioned and highlighted, obviously, science we will always need. So I think this was fantastic, Chris. I had a little bit of Thank extra you. confidence. This was great. Okay, so there's a nice you. review of our homework. Now, keeping in mind, our Zoom class is going to end in five minutes because we've got to change over because of the 40 minutes allowance they give us. So let's just think of everything we've looked over, the bar chart, the pie chart. Let's See anything we're going to review before we continue on with the rest of the lesson. Mm. Any little refresher? Do you want to maybe practice a little bar chart? Anything? I'm all right. I You're all right. Okay, yeah. no, that's great. I'm I'm happy then. So what we're going to do? We're going to change over into our next class, and then we're going to start looking at how we look at the expressing the importance of the topic. So this will be a great guideline considering the homework tasks we've just reviewed. This could even give you, you know, a little bit of inspiration from that topic introduction when we start an essay, or once again, the rules apply to the charts as well. So I'm going to leave this class and I'm going to meet in the next class in two seconds. Okay.